Hi everybody, this is an Orange Pi 1 mini computer. It's the cheapest mini computer that I'm aware of. The very words Orange Pi remind me of headaches one usually gets from working with these boards. It's because working with Orange Pi boards usually reveals many hidden problems which can interfere with your work and simply stand in your way. Working with Raspberry boards involves fewer pitfalls, and you can achieve your goals with Raspberries faster. But they are far more expensive than Orange boards. That's why this video is about an Orange Pi 1 board. This one has 512 MB RAM and a 600 MHz quad-core CPU. One can say that's not enough. But maybe for today's project, it's more than enough. I used an Orange Pi PC in one of my previous videos, but today I'm using a cheaper version, an Orange Pi 1. Let's try installing Android on it as we already did. There will be some changes this time. I'll use a special version of Android for Zidu. What's peculiar about Zidu is that they seem to produce only set-top boxes. So there's a special Android version for Zidu, and I'm going to install it on my Orange Pi now. I think I'll have a fully functional set-top box then. Note that all the images that work well on an Orange Pi PC do the same for an Orange Pi 1. Download the Zidu images. The link for it is in the video description section. Connect the SD card to the PC. Format the card using the SD formatter software. Option, on, OK. Format, OK. Open the Phoenix card program. Here is the downloaded image file address. Choose product, click format to normal. Wait a little. Then click startup, OK, burn. Wait a little longer. It usually takes about two minutes. The burn end word should appear when the burn is finished. Exit. Connect your mouse, an Ethernet cable, an HDMI cable, and power. Insert the card here. Attach a radiator to the CPU. The bigger, the better. Turn it on. Well, nothing happened. The Orange Pi LED light is off too. Press the button. The LED light is on, which means it started working. The sign should appear, but there is none. Well, here it is. The Zidu sign is on. Now we need to wait. Don't know for how long. Let me think. Look, there is a broken pixel on my TV screen that I didn't notice earlier. Here it is. After a couple of minutes, we have these signs on the screen. Let's try the internet. By the way, this is a free media player, this Kodi app here. You can install it to your Raspberry and to some other mini computers too. And you can control it with your phone or a TV remote. Let's see what apps we have here. Well, this one is by Android. These radiators aren't sufficient. The board is overheated already. And this orange pie just turned off because of the overheating. I took a radiator off a Raspberry and attached it here. It's working again. Let's open Kodi. It's pre-installed and should open quickly. Well, it opened quickly, and the board turned off again. As you can see, this device has turned off three times already. So I'll use this 10-watt LED light radiator this time. This is a radiator with a cooler because the LED light runs hot very quickly. I need to upgrade it a bit, bend these blades a little. See, this is one of the problems I mentioned earlier. You should be prepared for anything when working with this mini computer. I think the cheap price is due to the all-winner CPU, and all-winner CPUs usually have overheating problems. Uh, 
An active cooling system must be used for such CPUs, but some people advise using radiators without coolers. They say the radiators should be three times bigger than the ones I used, and then everything will be okay. My task is complete now. I wanted to show you how to install Android onto an orange board. I'll order an active cooling system soon and show you how the orange will work with it. I think you have enough information for now. You can see that these devices are not perfect, but can still be useful. Maybe this board will work better performing some tasks that involve less CPU load. I'm going to try something like this in one of my next videos.